Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons. This is the third video I'm doing in this set of videos where I show you how to write some land descriptions for these uh, storm drain storm drain parcel dedications we're doing. So in the last video, we were about halfway through the body of this storm drain parcel description. Okay, so we want to finish that up. So uh, if you remember, we started up here, point of commencement. We came down to the POB. Okay, and then we came down here, then we went down here, now we're on Barkley Way. We're going to run up Barkley Way, and the, uh, we're going to run up Barkley Way in this, this, uh, so this side of the proposed Barkley Way here. Okay, and you know what? I realized I steamrolled through my point of beginning, so let's go fix that. Okay, so we're going to go, so right here we need our POB, right? So we go, um, to the northeast corner of the storm drain, parcel being described in this document, and the... And I like to do bold point of beginning. Okay. So we want to call out our point of beginning there. Okay, so now we're going to go um, up this right away line. Now, because I have multiple courses here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six courses along. Barkley Way, we're going to do a list, okay, which I which I showed you guys in my other video too. So, and I apologize, my Black Lab Pitbull mix is tune on her bone in the background, so you might hear that, okay? But it's better better than gunshots from a drive-by. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say then the following courses, because we're setting up a list, right? Then the following courses all along, okay, and we're actually going to say then northerly. The following courses along um, the westerly right of way line of Barkley Way, Barkley Way, and the uh, westerly right of way of a proposed extension of Barkley Way. What? Look at that. Alright. Okay, so we're going along the existing right away, and then we got a little bit of proposed right away. Okay. The following courses. Oh. Nope, we said that. Then the following courses. Okay, so then we just do a colon, do our list. Alright, now we can just do a numbered list, which saves us some time, right? Because we don't have to repeat calls. Okay, so what's our first course along the right away? Okay, our first course along the right away is a curve, and because it's the first curve, it's non-tangent. Which means it would also be cool if we added a little radial to our plat here. We need to do that. Okay, so uh, let's describe this as a non tangent curve. So we're going to say along a non tangent curve to the, okay, and I got to think about this. Which way are we curving here? We're going to the left. Let me double check because I'm dyslexic. Yep, going to the left. Okay, so we're going to say uh, long and non-tangent curve to the left, right, and arc length of, okay, and then I'm looking at my closure. We're going an arc length of 55.39 feet. Okay, now, every, there's, there's, a, there's 40 different ways you can describe the curves. This is how I do it. I say a long and non-tangent curve to the left, an arc length of 55.39 feet, period. Then I do said, said curve. And then I give the other curve information, having a radius of 1463.00 feet and a central angle of, okay, and I'm going to paste in the central angle because it's got that funky little degree symbol. Okay, there's the central angle. Okay, then I say period. Then I say the chord of said curve bears, okay, and I'm going to put in my chord bearing, just, again, just copying this right out of the closure report, north, west, a distance, that's my wife, just doing a training video, a distance of Oh my word, don't listen to her. The distance of, what's my distance? I can't, I know it, I know it's in here because I couldn't find it last time. 
Oh, there it is, 55.38, 55.38 feet. Okay, there's our first curve. Okay, now, we got another curve, right? So here's our other curve, okay? So this is actually what we call a, a reverse curve, because this is a curve to the left, now we're going curve to the right. Okay, so we're going to say along a reverse curve, because that's what it is. Reverse curve to the right. An arc length of, okay, we want to pull that out of our closure, an arc length of, okay, so I'm just reading my next my next curve here on the closure, 160.83 feet, period, okay, and then we can just copy this stuff right here, okay? okay, now, because this is not a, because it's a tangent curve, Reverse curves are tangent. We don't have to put the cord bearing in there. So we're going to say set curve having a radius of. Okay, this one is 1537. And our central angle is 34340. Okay. okay, so now what, what do we do next? And now we're going to come along, so we went, we did our reverse curve, okay, now we've got this straight course. Okay, we've got this straight course, and then, so you see this, she broke this up on the plat, which is okay. So we've got this, this is actually one course, okay, so we're going to add these two numbers together. Okay, so then we've got that, that straight line course. So course number three is going to be, we're going to say north, west, okay, and we got to add these two numbers together. So we're going to combine those. Okay, so we've got um, 167.07 plus 132.30, 30, 299.37. Okay, and then we've got another curve, okay? And this is a tangent curve, so we don't need we don't need a bearing a uh, cord bearing in distance, but so we went this straight course, now we're coming along this curve. Right here, okay, it's a tangent curve to the left. So we're gonna just copy this curve because it's tangent. Okay, and we're gonna say along a tangent curve to the make sure you don't forget to change these. This is a curve to the left. Okay, then we're going to look in our closure, okay, to get our chord info. So we're going an arc length of 210.24, and our curve has a radius of 463, and it has a central angle of 26, zero one, zero zero. Okay, then we got one more course, which is our straight course. This last straight course. Okay, right here, we're going this last straight course back to our POB. So we're just going to copy that out of our closure. Okay, so we're going north, west, 190.86 feet. Okay, now, the last course on the list, you always put your two call, okay? So we're going to say to the, where are we going to? To the, we're going to go to the point of beginning. Okay. Alright, so there you go. That's the body of our legal. Now, I've got what I call some end notes, so I'm going to say containing 4.85 acres, more or less. Then we're going to say... Hang on one. All right, sorry guys, my wife is crazy. Okay, so a couple of end notes here. We put the area in, then we're just going to give a little note about the units. So we're going to say all distances contained in this description are ground distances, not grid distances, and are in U.S. survey feet. Okay. And then the last note I put is this land description 
prepared by me or under my direct supervision. And then we'll put Landon Blake, California, PLS 8489. Okay, and then I will have a spot in here where I can stamp and seal this. Okay, so we're going to shorten this up a little bit. Okay, so there you go. We got our uh, we got our legal, our first one. Okay, so uh, once the first one's done, the other ones go pretty easy. So in the next one, we're gonna get this set up, and we're actually gonna do a strip description for a public utility. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.